Hey, screeners, how you doing? It's me, the one AJ, Anthony Jordan. And me, Nico Lero, and it's time for a classic movie review, and AJ doesn't know what we're talking about, as always. Not a clue. Not a clue. All I know is it's celebrating a zero. Is that a 10? Is that a 20, 30, or beyond? I haven't a clue. Sometimes I've seen it, sometimes I haven't. When it's 20 or 30, because we're nearly 40 years old, it's a bit of a kicker. <laughs> That's a bit of a kicker. That's all I can say. When it's older, you just say, yeah, nice classic movie. Let's celebrate it. But that 2030, always a kicker. Hit me. We're not going back 10 years. No, so we're in kicker territory. We're not going back 20. We're not going back 30? Okay. We're not going back 40 or 50. Hello. 70? 60? Dana, 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 dana. 60 years old is the Pink Panther. You're going to tell me now you haven't seen it? I've only seen the animations. I've Yo! Seen <laughs> I've not even seen a Steve Martin movie. I actually refuse to watch a Steve Martin movie, if I'm honest, because <laughs> I know how good these films were meant to be. Like, yeah. Yeah. Damn. I really wish I'd seen it. Like 60 years old is something I feel like should be celebrated properly. It's on Amazon Prime if you want to check it out. Free Prime. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, UK Prime as well. Just need to emphasize yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of UK, thanks for bringing this up. If you look at the Pink Panther on IMDb, it says 1963, not 64, because it was released in the US in 1963. And because, as always, the UK gets butt munched when it comes to release dates well, even to this back day. then not so much now like don't get me wrong we still get it oh we, we get still hurt get it. now bro kung fu panda 4 was like a month late for us listen there's a lot of stuff like we still you know when we do our films hurt. of the year our u.s counterparts was like what about this one what about this one we're like well it's out next week for us yeah <laughs> if you it hasn't even released yet you know what i mean it's like most of the time the oscar movies come out here in the year that the bloody ceremony is yeah as opposed to six before. months before like they do in america now uh, we always get hurt yeah in the uk it came out in 64 which is like it fits in here at 60 years old hell of a cast aj but this is sellers isn't it sellers and niven oh, yeah. big cast big 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 cast um let me, do you know what? Because you haven't seen it, I actually want to go straight into the trailer before giving you away, giving away yeah. anything I want to talk about. Let's go with the trailer and then I'm going to give you some, some deep thoughts on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the official original Pink Panther trailer. <laughs> Pardon me, sir, but what are you looking at? Is that by any chance the picture called the Pink Panther? Who's in it? Hello, Niven. Oh, it's David Niven. And Peter Sellers. <laughs> Two of the greats, man. How is he in right. the picture? <laughs> Rolls them in the aisle, eh? <laughs> we must find that woman. <laughs> Who else? Capucine? Capucine's oh, great. Heck, She's great, in it? Darling, look, I think I've got something in my right eye. No, I mean the left. No, no, this one. <laughs> <I don't laughs> it hurts. I see Robert Wagner's in it, too. Yeah. And what is your impression of that new Italian star, Claudia Cardinale? Oh, God. God, do that now. The Virgin Queen. I'm not the queen. <laughs> it's only half an ounce. I was six when I went on my first safari. Frazzari. Wild animal hunt. Mm. Oh, sir, what are you looking at now? Are those the bedroom scenes? Aha, they are, aren't they? <laughs> the bedroom scenes. Come on, they don't are be so good. selfish. There's hiding under the bed. Uh, George, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
sounds more like. Now, you should be ashamed. Oh, I'm planning on it. Why should anybody want me to go to Brunico? No! Dad. No! I'm so sorry. I was trying to kiss your foot. No, it's all right, my Let dear. Let me kiss your no, face. it's all right. I understand that the picture features the music of Henry Mancini. Anna. And introduces Fran Jeffries. <laughs> God, you can't get away with this stuff now. Can you give me some idea of what takes place in the picture? This is great. This walks out. <laughs> I can feel the hands up my ass. Most unfortunate, Mr. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I didn't get the name. Yeah. That's it, AJ. Okay. What were your thoughts on the trailer? It, do you know what? There's a lot of stuff to it. Uh, I mean, it's it's always weird for me when I see this stuff because, as I said, I've always watched a Pink Panther cartoon and it just isn't linked to the film in any way, shape or form, which is so At weird. All. What I did like is how creative this trailer was. It's one of the most creative trailers I've actually seen. Like the way you've got the pink panther and it introduces the characters and shows how their the quirks of their you know the actor and their character and the quirks of the characters and how they all mesh together and the, the, the fun antics that one would see within the film i think that's really cool um if i'm not mistaken the pink panther is a diamond isn't it which is like it's a diamond, diamond heist yeah. in the film so that's the only thing that i feel was missing but i feel it still shows you you're in for a good time with this film which it, it, like I did have a really big smile on my face just looking at it. It was, just, it was warming. It was something like, this is actually interesting. This looks fun. And that's why I like. It looked fun. Are you ready for Double V to drop some gospel on you? Okay. Pink Panther sucks. Oh, don't. It is so unforgivably boring. I can't tell you. I was no. in, yep, I was in shock watching this. Me, the guy who likes classic movies, who advocates that everyone should go and see classic movies. And if there's something that doesn't land thematically, not view it through a 2024 lens and just be like, hey, look, different time, different ideals, different mindset. You have to accept it for what it was. That doesn't make it right. It was just different. You have to see it that way. Bro, sellers. Even Sellers can't save this movie. Um, Sellers and Niven. Wow. Niven is very charming. Sellers, Sellers made me chuckle. I can't lie. When, when Sellers was doing his, you know, his brand of comedic acting, it, it, which you saw a little bit of in the trailer when he, you know, goes over the wind, uh, goes over the globe and trips up. And so Sellers has got moments where he's, where he's Sellers. The problem this movie suffers from isn't from the people in it. In fact, but as I said, even the people in it, the likes of Niven and Sellers, cannot save this movie. It's a movie of two halves. The first half is so unforgivably badly edited. It's like they discovered the cross dissolve function in the 60s and was like, every single scene has to cross dissolve into the next scene. And it's one of those things when you notice it, it's like, oh my God. Will you stop it with that bloody effect? It takes you out so hard. 
the mise en scène, the, the 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 setup of what the heist is is dead. It is so convoluted and boring and unnecessary. The steps they go to, where it's like, okay, if you take out the first hour of the movie and just do this, the last fifty four minutes, same damn movie. First hour of the movie, literally pointless. The whitewashing on display here, Claudia Cardinale, the Italian actress, she's playing an Indian princess. I'm like, what were you thinking? Even, even in the 1960s, that's not okay. What were you thinking here? And then you get to the last part of the movie, which is just three scenes. And yes, the bedroom scene, I have to say, is bloody comedic gold. It's fantastic but it overstays its welcome. It is 27 minutes of copy and pasting the same joke. They're coming, hide under the bed. They're coming, hide in the cupboard. They're coming, hide behind the door. They're coming, hide behind the curtain. It's like, will you get on with it? You've gone from being fast paced to driving the movie to a complete halt with the same joke. It sucks. And I know it is so unpopular to say something like that. This movie belongs in the 1960s i could not even for someone who likes niven even for someone who likes sellers which we love sellers right here there's nothing like it's it's the biggest pile of whatever at best at best the biggest pile of whatever to being grindingly painstakingly unforgivably boring I am so shocked. Me too. I mean, it's what it's a weird thing because it kind of makes sense why the film never. I mean, don't get me. I think it was on TV once and I missed it or something. Like I missed the beginning and I wanted to see it from the beginning. But it's weird. It, I suppose that's why it's not one of those films that has been replayed over the years. No. Like as much as the cartoon character Pink Panther is about, you just don't see the cartoon character Pink smashes Pink. this movie. Yeah. As I said, I, I really refuse to watch the Steve Martin thing because I thought this would be better. Oh, I'd prefer um, to see the Steve Martin thing to see if they improved on it and made it more sensical. Bro, the whole setup of this first thing is like, yeah, there's there's a loose strain by which the initial hour-long plot makes sense. It's like, oh, okay, I suppose to keep the princess at the place where you want to keep her, I guess. Kind of like but you didn't. Done a lot quicker, right? Oh my god, you didn't need to drag it out the way you did. And here's the terrible thing: they they don't let any scene breathe, like it's just quick, 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 cross this off, cross this off, cross this off, cross this off, and yet it drags like a mother flubber. It's like, sorry, this movie's only an hour and a bit long. God almighty, I've got sore bum syndrome going on here. It's so boring. I'm so shocked. Yep. I'm so shocked. Ge like, genuinely shocked. Genuinely shocked, because I thought this was one of those, like, oh, must-see classics of the time, you know? Of I course. was even thinking, I actually thought it might have even touched goat territory to hear that it's like, <laughs> thumbs down, avoid at all costs is... Wow. Never see, life no, no less complete. Never see, Peter Sellers remains a god. You watch this and you're like, wow, even Peter Sellers couldn't save this. That's nuts. That is nuts. Crazy, okay. isn't it? Wow. And the last yeah. scene, oh, well, they, they, they showed a bit of it with the gorilla suits. And it's there are moments of chuckles, like the spinning in the bathroom you saw in the trailer. The him falling in the snow and then walking out going, good evening. Like There are moments where you've got that kind of carry on era slapstick, you know, stiff upper lip comedy. There are moments, very brief moments when it lands, such as the star power of Niven and Sellers. But Jesus wept, it's boring and long. Oh man, okay, I, I, yeah, I'm, yeah, I, it's one of those that if now this feels like a car wreck, you know, like it feels mm -hmm. like you shouldn't watch, but I can't help but I feel like I need to take a peek. Not that I'm I just you, but like just, just. Out of like how bad can oh my days, I'm so sure. No, no, not bad, not bad, unforgivably boring. Jeez. To say Peter Sellers is in a movie and it's boring, 
Yeah. Yeah. Thumbs down. Hard no. thumbs down. Okay. I don't get that. Yeah. Not for guys. I have th this. This could be a blow up moment. This could be a blow up moment on the comments. Like, do you agree? Is it about? Is it a case of just how bad? Or are there some of you out there that can really like try and spin the, t the wheel and be like, no, it was actually that good. I would love to hear from you guys because I'm shocked at this point. I'm genuinely shocked. Wow. Yeah. Wow. A movie that you would see on the surface would be made for someone like me. Nope. I want to know what you guys think. Am I completely wrong about all this? Is the Pink Panther great and I've missed the point? I dare you to try and defend that ropey editing. I double dare you. Say what one more goddamn time. I dare you. I double dare you. But that's it from us. I double dare you to like the video and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Another right, classic review. Bye for now. Bye, guys. Uh,